All right, so I'm just tying on if I can. I tell you what, I am tired on a couple hours sleep and we are out here trying to shoot a YouTube video before a storm comes. We got about two hours. I'm gonna start with paddle tails. Keytech four inch easy shiner, that is a money maker. Northland metallic gold or chartreuse jig. Key is when you're throwing paddle tails, we're on the Peshtigo River, there's a lot of wood here. So a lot of times you wanna find a natural eddy and we'll kind of point out what a natural eddy is. It's where there's, you'll see a foam line and then it's just calm water. So you kind of want to be on that edge or in the current, kind of casting down, down and dragging up. That's what we're going to do. We may throw some stick baits as well. I'd like to have Tony throw, you know, a few uh, crank baits for big fish, but we're trying to catch big ones. So you ready, Tony? Ready. I mean, it's not windy now, but it's just our luck. Every time, you know, we're going to film a video tomorrow, we're going to try to shoot a video. Windy, windy, windy. <sighs> there he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. No, that's a fish. First thump of the day. You know what's really cool, guys, is we have our own rod company, but I'm also, I love being able to talk about other great rods like St. Croix rods. They have such awesome warranty. You buy a rod like this, something happens, you send it back. I mean, you really find out the, the if you buy different rods, guys, from companies, you really find out how good the company is when something goes wrong, like you have you break some rods and then you call the customer service or you try to get stuff replaced so check out st croix brand they are they're really awesome made right here in wisconsin got to support our other rod companies there's jt there's you know there's a handful of other really good rod companies that are out there there he is thumping that paddle tail baby that's a male that'd be a good eater right there can keep one but we're gonna keep fishing there he is good one yep decent nope baby he just thumped it All right, I'm just kind of casting in the eddy, but there's fish in the main river too, for sure. I think though, the thing is, I'm using a quarter ounce here, you probably need three eighths or half out in the main channel. Yeah, he smoked it, little guy. That is a hog. Little guy. That'd be a good eater if uh, you wanted to eat a fish. See what? No. I was just moving that rod. There we go. That's a good one. Good one? Yeah. Yeah, good one. He smoked it too. Yeah, when they hit it, they just crunch it. Yeah, they do. They thump it so hard. Oh, it ain't that big. Oh my god, he choked it. It's a oh, nice the one behind it. Yeah, the I saw that, yeah. That's, not, that's a good one. It's not giant, but. Oh, there's another male right here behind it. Ah, look at the way she ate that, though. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, she smoked it, dude. That is uh, how you know they like your bait. Yep.
Big ass stick. You better believe it. Ooh. It's hard pulling it up. The there he is. Oh, he thumped it too. Hey. Yeah. He. That's a good one there. Yep. That's a good one. Yep. But, yep. Well, I got a stick, folks, and Eric's actually got a. Fish. I got a walleye. He dumped it too, real good. Well, we're doubled up. You got a stick. I got a walleye. Nice little critter. Nice long meal. There he is. Decent. Not great, but decent. Every time we come to shoot a video, it just get windy and nasty. We're gonna be picking up Andy here in a little bit. We got a big storm coming in, but here we go. It's a nice fish. Postponed walleyes. That's one thing to remember, guys. If you come to this river, okay. If you come to the, if you come up here to the bay, and uh, it's super rough and windy and nasty, and, and you get a bunch of rain. Um, check out the Peshtigo River. It's always. Always a good place to get out of the wind. Out of even like when all the other rivers are blown out, you can come to the Pesh to go here, and you can still catch them. It's a nice one, nice fish. Look at that crunching paddle tails. A lot of fun, you know. Like I said, right now we can't fish out in the bay. There's not a lot of places you can fish. So this river can always save you. Tomorrow we're gonna go out in the bay. Today, post-spawn females in the river. And now it's time to go pick up my buddy Andy. Not a bad start for the first hour and a half. It is windy though, so, but we're dragging jigs up the current, pulling them nice and slow. My basic rig is um, 10 pound Power Pro. And then I've just got a 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and either uh, um, a, a neon moon eye jig or a northland jig with a key tech or any sort of paddle tail a bee fishing ringworm a moxie plastics you know straight tails all that stuff works it's a great bite they thump it hard drag it boom all right guys so we are headed back to the boat launch to go pick up my buddy andy who's going to be fishing with us for the next few days tony and i fished for about an hour hour and a half caught about 12 13 walleyes not bad just throwing plastic. So remember, you come up here to Green Bay, if you get a bunch of rain or wind, come to the Peshtigo River. You can get out of the wind, and this river never gets chocolate milk like the Pier or the Menominee River. So it's a good alternative river to hit Dragon Jigs. I'm gonna pick up Andy. We're gonna see if we can get this video done today. If we got too much wind, we'll finish the video tomorrow. Sucker. Nice fish, Andy. Yep. Nice fish. Andy's got a nice fish. Another nice one. Stand right up the top, right back here, over on this side. On this side? Yep. Just lift straight up. There you go. Big mama. Big mama. Yes. Oh, there's two fish in there. Andy scores big, first fish. There he is. 
not bad. Not a bad one. We'll take it. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 so you have to release the sucker, Andy. Tony, he's got to let it go. Sorry. We got to let him go. Here let him go. go. Let him grow. Let him grow. Nice catch. Let's get some skin on that, Sakatoshis. You know, when I was, I was seeing fish tacos in my future and... I, exactly. I, you know, and I saw the Sakatoshis there in the water swim away. And I saw the Sakatoshis sitting the down. The disappointment in the face. Yeah, look at That's the disappointment. He, he can't get the, the drone. drone to fly. He's Sakatoshis on the drone of Boshis. Well, we got to 70% and then you kicked it, so. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that's why I said, watch out, watch out. And he kept kicking it. Whoa, well, Andy had a fish on. <laughs> Sucker, you. Suck what? This is going in the video. Hopefully you got a big one. They're choking it though, even oh, yeah. the little guys are choking it. See you later. And air choked up too. Andy, can you triple us up? Andy's on. Okay. It's a nice fish. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Beautiful fish. All right, guys. So real quick, Andy, you're using what? What size jig? Uh, three eighths. Andy's using a three eighths. I think I just put on a half ounce here, and we just want to show you real quickly what we're doing. All right. So we're just kind of fishing these eddies up and down the river here. Anywhere an eddy is where you're kind of out of the main current here, or you can cast in the main current. You just need a heavier jig in the main current and a lighter jig in the slack water of the eddies. Just gonna kind of cast it down river. And you can do, watch, if you look at Andy, you can see how he's kind of popping his jig. So you can pop it and drag it back, or I'll just kind of pull it up river and hold, let the bait hit bottom. Kind of just do a pull and hold. So you can do it both ways of work. You can pop it or you can drag it.
that's what we came for. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the hawk. That's what we wanted. Yes, we're rolling, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. Dude, I was just I letting just it drag bottom. Yep. And just went, don't. And just crushed it. Oh, plastic? Yep. Nice. It's nice. We'll take it. There goes my GoPro. Oh, that's okay. That's about, that's about how our day is going. It's still a nice fish. Some really solid fish. Yes, that's a nice fish, buddy. Oh yeah, I'll take them. That's really nice. Big old spawn down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Probably 27 inches, maybe 28. Yeah. She bumped it. Just choked it. Heck yes. That is a super long fish. If only we would have caught this girl last week. Right? She would Still be. a lot of fun though. So 40 fun. mile an hour winds, we were able to get out of the wind. Let's just see, just for reference here. That is a 27, 27 and a quarter. 27 incher. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Nice. Right back to the depths. Hell yeah, we'll take her. Nice job, Phil. Let's go. Good job, buddy. All right, guys, so we are going to wrap it up. We fished for about three quarters of the day. We got a bunch of rain coming in, even more wind. So what we're going to do right now, since we love to eat walleyes, we are going to go back to Tommy's house. We're going to show you how to fillet up a walleye real quick and how to cook it up. You guys ready? I'm ready. ready it's raining. All right, we're going to head out. All right, guys, just coming in from walleye fishing. We're going to show you real quickly how we're going to cook up our fish. First, first thing is, if you like tartar sauce, not everybody likes tartar sauce. Tony, you said you didn't like tartar sauce, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna at least have to try it. But Andy and I, we like tartar sauce. Tommy loves tartar sauce. So we're gonna show you a really, really awesome tartar sauce homemade recipe. You gotta try this, okay? So get the Mount Olive bread and butter chips, okay? Get these, all right? And you're gonna wanna drain about half or three quarters of the juice. Then pull them all out and mince them. See how Andy just took his time and he minced that. Mince is chopping it very fine, okay? Mince the, the, that, so it's basically a sweet relish. Andy's gonna take that, put in there. We're gonna mince up an onion, okay? We'll show you that in a little bit. We're gonna put in mayo, all right? Tarragon. Are you with me, Andy? I'm with you. French's, a little bit of yellow mustard, okay? A little bit. Some dill. Andy, and guess what? This ain't just dill. It's baby dill. Baby dill. Oh, baby dill. <laughs> and last but not least, what do we got here? Parsley. All right. You we ready? got some dill. We got some parsley. It's been a long day. We guys. got some mayo. We got some mustard. Andy's been we got on the road. Some onions. So Andy's been on the road driving across country. Not, he got maybe a couple hours sleep. We've been up rigging all sorts of stuff. We were up to one in the morning trying to put all this video stuff together and then got back up early to try to shoot another video, which we did today, so got it done. Try this tartar sauce. Here we go, we're gonna show you how to mix it up. All right, here we go. Here we're going to, we're gonna put in all the relish. Probably about a good two thirds of the mayo. Two thirds of that. So I'm gonna be making some smoked fish dip here too in a little bit. That's why I'm wearing gloves, but. Then we're gonna add some more onions and everything else that we're gonna to add to it. So the one thing um, I will encourage you to do is grab a, a separate little spoon. Just grab a separate spoon and when you're making this and Try it. If it tastes too mayonnaise-y for you, um, what you can do is just add a little bit of the juice. That's like the vinegar. So, and again, if it tastes too vinegary, you can always add more mayo, all right? So you can kind of make it to the flavor you like it, but now we're gonna add onions and everything else. Minced onions into the dip. The 
size is about a half uh, medium sized onion. Perfect. So we got pickles in here, Eric. We got mayonnaise, mm -hmm. and now we've got onions. Onions, yep. And so now we can put some of this in there. And a little bit of pickle juice. Yep. To taste. And now we need just some dill. Alright, so now we're going to be cutting up some dill. Yeah. We got some dill, finely chopped. Nice work, Andy, nice work. Thank you. What are we doing? How much? Just a squirt. It's good. Yep. That's about it? Yep. It's a little bit of mustard. Yep. It doesn't do much, it gives it a little color, a little add a little flavor. All right, last ingredient. Is this the last ingredient? The parsley? Yep. Here we go. Now, if I'm doing this wrong, I don't want to hear about it. This was coming from the TV fast forward. Give it Wow, we got fast in Parsley's the final. That's it. That's it. All right, parsley's going in. That's it, guys. Let's get all this goodness. There it is. Mix it up. All right. So, here's what we got. We we got we're running our little fryer here, electric fryer. So we we keep blowing a fuse in our Airbnb, and. Uh, so we had to turn the lights off. Looking pretty good though, boys. Ho, 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 ho. That's the end product. We're gonna show you how we're putting it together right now. So here's what we got for a mix. We got, um, real quick guys, we got corn flakes, panko breading, and the uh, catch and cook, the uh, Jay's catch and cook spicy. And we just blew the fuse again. So it's kind of crazy. Andy, it's crazy. Bring it off to the side, let it reheat. Let's go. We made the tartar sauce. We made the fish. We're done. We got no more lights. We're wrapping up this video. Tony told me not to add the, the cooking part because it's going to take too long. But hey, try the tartar sauce out. Deep fry some fish. Ready to eat? Here we go. Tommy, dinner time. That's this week's video. Subscribe. Leave me a comment. Share. Oh, we just built some stuff. We're, we're done. We're done. Bye. For the quick question, Tommy, for those yeah, folks yeah, that are looking to rent this uh, Airbnb here, how much again are you charging for? Thousand a thousand a week. One thousand per week for the Airbnb. Just get a hold of Tommy. Does that up, does that come up, with the fryer? Look up Tommy. Yeah, come with the fryer. Yep. So if you want to look up the Airbnb, just look up Tommy, aka Long Salami, Trophy Tommy winner, and Marinette, and he, he, all sorts of articles and stuff are going to pop up. But. All right, Tony, time for you to eat. Uh -huh.